Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are things going? Um, I know it's been kind of a while since I uploaded a video, which I am terribly sorry for just with this quarantine and stuff. I had no um, free time where I can sit with myself and think about stuff that I have to do. Plus, I don't want my family to hear about this. But I'm back now and I have something amazing to talk about and something amazing to show and as you already get it by the name of the video that I'm going to be talking about something very cool and the reason why I'm going to actually make a whole video about this because first of all I'm amazed by the work and the set this is and also when I was getting this I had like really no idea what it's going to be about so I feel like, um, you know, I have to talk about this for others' people knowledge and understanding of what this is so you don't pretty much waste your money on the supply that you're just not gonna use or too afraid to use because this is some serious stuff. I'm going to be talking about Occult Tarot by Travis McHenry and this is what the set looks like. I think this is really amazing. And um, I'm very much in love with this. When I saw this on Amazon, I was like, I am going to get it at some point. And I just, I really just dropped it to my list. And then I was just thinking that maybe when I get extra money, one day I'll get it. I wasn't in like a huge rush to get it. It was just there so I can remember about it and, you know, kind of just wish and hope for it you know but um i received this as a gift so i didn't even expect it to have it but i have it and i treat it like a huge sign because i didn't ask for this specifically and so on like i said it was just there because i wanted it but not like a huge must right now like somewhere in the future but I received it few like a week after I added that to my list. So this is like a huge I don't know, I don't even know what to call it. A blessing, a thank you, a sign because um since this is a cult tarot, I am not into black magic. Like I'm not a a black witch, a dark witch. I'm none of these. But before I got myself into actually being 100% sure that I'm going to take a uh, lead of the moon and go with it, um, which is actually not a black or white magic, it's, it's a fun mix, you know, um, and I did a huge research probably for over a year, I was looking things up, I was, um, curious i was reading books i read the dante and pharaoh divine comedy and um you know it's like we're always attracted to things that are forbidden especially like talk about demons oh god no don't do that because how dare you like come on jesus is the way and stuff so um i don't know but it was always like curious to me and so on so i did take partial study in demonology and black magic but um with black magic i also studied part of it in paganism because yes for some reason people in general look at paganism as something very bad because how can you honor different gods like no there's only one but when you actually get into this it seems like there's no bad gods but there is there are evil spirits there are uh there's the dark black god and uh Sorry if I missaid it because I studied that in my native language, Ukrainian, so I'm kind of losing the translations of it. Sorry, but pretty sure some of you know what I mean. And um, pretty much, it just kind of gave a lead to the whole um, Satanism and so on, which I'm not into, but you know. Hold up. But if you're not into like all the black stuff and black magic, how come then you got yourself a cold tarot, which I'm going to explain the whole concept of them in a little bit, and so on. Like, you know, I'm very like saying that like I'm not into all of this yet. My name for my witchcraft and even the name of my channel has to do with um black magic and demons and so on because the name Wanth was actually taken from a demoness 
that is basically the guardian of the underworld in one of the cultures. Old story and so on, but it was really um, into her, her, herself, you know, she was very, um, for some reason, really intriguing to me, so I took her name and um, over the years that I've been using it, I didn't get no signs like, how dare you use it or something, so I feel like we're on a good note there. I like the black magic and I like the white magic. There's both good and bad to both because sometimes people underestimate black magic calling it all evil and stuff. Well, I always, even as a kid, I questioned the Bible saying, well, isn't like hell a good place? Because technically I'd always look at it as like this punishment place, you know, like it is. You, you lived your life not to the will of God, so you get sent down there and you're punished for centuries until your soul is back to normal and you realize your mistakes and you go out there and you basically reincarnate into a newborn baby and live your life again. So I always saw it as like a good place, like they are doing a good thing, they're, they're purifying the ones who were sinners, like, you know, so I never saw anything bad in that. And I'll be honest if I say that at some points I was more terrified by the concept of heaven right, rather than like hell and so on because some of the things that happen in the Bible that talk about the holy and stuff makes me feel more afraid and scared than like yes let's go kind of stuff. But at the same time that's why I converted religions so you know I'm not here to bring down any spotlight or any like shadows on religions you know not what i'm talking about but um so how did i even get to those occult tarot so in general i was just looking for a new deck i was very like hmm let's go out there let's go see what i can do because i feel like i want new cards well i was scrolling through amazon and so on and this just came up on my basically page search page and like looking at this i really thought this was like a cover of a pack because um you know you can't really tell the size of something from a picture with a white background on it so i really thought it was just a size of a pack if you ever seen tarot cards they're basically like well maybe like this big like a phone you know so i thought that it was really just a pack of cards and so I was kind of a little bit shocked by the price because uh, usually tarot cards are well so to say for like $15 to maybe about 8 if you can find some good ones or up to 20 but nowhere past that and um, you know they give you an option of different pictures if you guys actually want I will drop the link to this on Amazon in the descriptions so you can go check it out but this set was about $24 as I can recall remember I'm not sure I think so it was like 24 almost $30 so I was like what kind of cards are those so uh, they do give like few options of pictures but mostly it's just overview on this box like you know from the side from the back of it and so on and I look and I can tell that the cards look pretty amazing like those are just the cards with demons and I'm like I really want to get it probably one thing that actually stole my attention and really really wanted me to get this was the art on each card so I really am a big fan of medieval times art and so on there's a lot of memes about it and it's just funny I mean people just kind of decided that you know, maybe drawing people instead of just drawing um, holy people is okay. So they started picturing everyone and um, I feel like they were trying to do a good job. And you really can't judge because they had no knowledge of that stuff. That's just art history talk. Um, and, you know, as we all know, medieval times, the time where religion started blooming and people tried to be like, hey, hell is bad, and there's a lot of demons, and they tried to picture the demons from the old scripts. And so, um, Travis McHenry, who really did a good job putting um, all the cards together, and um, I really do like how he, in general, created this whole story together, because 
let's actually open up and i can actually talk more so as we see let me move my phone so this is just a box and it's very pretty and i was really kind of like hold on so it's not a like a standard size tarot card box hmm but i was very like what's in it so let's check it out so as we open there is a book actually a real book not a mini tiny booklet that is stapled in the middle that will pretty much um lose all of its pages like in a few years or even a few months um if you're not careful enough it's actually a whole book and i was just very amazed by that fact but then when you take the book out the cards are right inside and to be honest very different than what I'm used to with my um, normal tarot cards where they are very glance, they feel really glancy to the touch. This one is matte, like, see there's no really shine to it. When you get your new set, you don't start working with them right away. That is very not, not, not nice, let's say, that way to do with your cards. You have to introduce yourself first by just sitting there, trying to feel, catch the feel of the deck, uh, flipping through each card, like paying attention to what each card, what each symbol looks like. Um, if there's any writing on it, read it, understand it. So you really have to take like, I don't know, a week to actually um, understand your cards before you start working with them. And um, here's the deck regular deck with 78 cards very interesting story behind this deck too i feel like the the back of it is actually very nice look at that this is very cool art this is very cool everything there's a text there's symbols there's picture um names and the actual um correspondence to the whole tarot stuff i feel like a lot was put into making the whole set and you really have to appreciate it but there's a catch it's a cold tarot so they require more and way more rules and cautions which i don't know why modern witches just just step all over those rules and be like there's no rules there's no protections and as you guys know it's really ticking me off because no trust me if a witch tells you there are some things you have to do probably you should because they know better maybe they fucked it up somewhere excuse my language but maybe you should and if you're not one of this person who's like very committed to what they do and committed to the rules this is not for you okay i'm just gonna say it right away um, i have too much maybe too much a lot of respect to what i'm doing with my own cards with my runes with my magic with even meditating i take it like a whole ritual stuff and i feel like others should do the same thing but uh, at the same time everyone does it the way they want it so even before i got to checking on the tarot reading about them and stuff I started reading this book fast and very like into it like I just dived and basically got over the whole book in a little time and I was very shocked and surprised because I'm a really slow reader I don't like to read but I have to tell you very interesting stuff so <clears throat> as we start we get the whole menu and and so on and I started reading this part and <clears throat> Something that kind of threw me off is that preparations and offerings, calendars of summoning, using the occult tarot and questioning the demons. Like, right away, I just had the chills go down my body because I knew that this is going to be fun. And if I, at some point, do something very wrong, I might as well be cursed for the whole life. <laughs> and very dangerous game I'm, I'm playing here by using those cards, but... Um, it's kind of worth trying. This book starts with introductions and basically just telling us the whole concept of um, what's going on in those cards, 
what are they about and in general giving just a little insight on which is good and then he also mentions the king Salma and the demons story which i'm not like i don't know that much about the king just know that he was like extremely smart and so on so turns out that he actually summoned 72 demons that helped him to build a temple and um just basically gave him a lot of knowledge and so on and so he basically just captured them into a bottle like vessel and then he just threw it away uh, using secret sigils and so on you know like how it goes and some guy found it once and freed all of the demons the story also mentions that all of the demons escaped onto mankind to torment everyone and so on i'm sorry for the shakiness but one of the demons stayed in one of the ruins basically and as people will give him um <clears throat> sacrifices and givings offerings whatever he would answer questions truthfully about past present future you know um <clears throat> and that's where the whole concept of tarot especially those are coming from so um as i understood that those cards feature the 72 demons plus a few extra demons they're all put into this and basically you will do the same thing you will give them an offering a gift if they like what you're giving them they will answer you one of your questions in the basic celtic cross tarot spread the book doesn't say anything about if you can ask about the past or if you can use any other kind of um setups besides celtic cross because i worked with celtic cross only when i got my tarot um because that was the only spread that was listed and i had to go and find my own um, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. It just it got me more confused than gave me more answers. So Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but I hope it works. What I do like about the cards though is the way they were um, made to be and They even give a good diagram in the book talking about what are each symbol on the card? What do they mean? What for and so on? So next what we do have in the book is the way to use the cards which actually talks about the whole summoning ritual and it turns out that yes It is an actual full-time ritual where you have to cast a circle get your candles get a silver plate incense and so on and then you can start and it also talks about very good actually very good insight on the way to um bring in offerings which not many books talk well about as many books as i have about magic and occult stuff offering subject is kind of like well anything you want but it has to be specifically for them then they go talking about the whole religion but not the offerings so i feel like um the guy did amazing job explaining he also listed a diagram about how the whole ritual should look like which is a big help thank you and especially he made it look like it's a compass so you know which way you're supposed to face that is a huge thank you because just on the descriptions no matter how good they are i, I get confused and i mess it up and well there goes my um my soul uh, basically and turns out that in addition to this i do need to get some candles new incense because i'm running out of mine and a silver plate i don't have a silver plate that's sad and um five red candles i really do need those but you know what amazon got it all look at this art over here this is very cool very cool but then they actually talk about the whole celtic cross spread which basically goes the same way as any other uh, tarot card would have it but here it actually has a whole chapter talking about what each um, step each card will talk about which I think is very great um, especially since each card is a demon and um, they do have their own meanings in like tarot uh, significations but still you know you, you don't always remember um, the name and the look of the card unless you really 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 did dedicate your time to working with them and so on the book gets into basically showing each card with additional meanings because each card has the meaning of what the demon does what is he all about 
in the descriptions below so like um oh these gold so here's the like descriptions of what he's capable of doing and so on and the book on the top of each card hold on let me get there talks about well basically the same stuff but a little bit more precise and so on personally i have no idea how will they work in a spread because like i said i don't have the materials needed for the whole ritual stuff and then um you're actually supposed to summon only one demon as i understand when you work with it and then he'll give you all the answers that you need if he likes the offering and if you could do everything it gets sort of kind of difficult to guess or know what is right for a specific demon because for instance you know many of them are like uh pagan gods they will take the food the money the um, anything that's precious to you that you're giving up to them they love it and they will take it but it, for example like even the book says that if uh, the demon is bird-like and you give him seeds he'll love it but if you give him a fried chicken chances are he'll curse you so you know uh, you really have to know who are you who are you willing to talk to and know what is it that you're gonna give up and so on and um good i have time to think about things through and plan things as soon as i'm waiting for my stuff to come in and i can talk about the whole experience with um in general occult tarot it also says in the book that if the demons are very much pleased with um my work done for them and so on they will give me opportunity to ask them for a favor or something like that which i think is amazing because to be honest, that's what I like about pagan gods, uh, even devils, because they follow kind of the same concept. If you please them, they will be kind enough to give you something as a gift in return, basically. At the end of the book, you do get about the author, and you actually get his picture, so I think that's really cool. Like, you know, nice work. I am very, very pleased with the with those cards um like i said i haven't tried them yet but i'm going to soon and um so far i'm in still of introductory stage where i'm still looking through each and i have to tell you some of the pictures are done really adorably like there's some demons in there that are so adorable like you will understand if you if you saw any of it or if you studied or if you saw pictures whatever you will understand me at some point um but i have to say that i'm very happy that i do have those and that i didn't have to wait years or something before actually getting them and i'm very thankful for the person that got me this as a gift like i said in somewhere in the video that if you're not a person who is fully committed to sticking to the rules following the rules doing all of the things that you must do because it's listed and it's for your own good then this set is not for you. It's weird how like after a good time of talking, my voice just kind of dies. Like it just settles down. Like nope, not anymore. <laughs> but anyways, I um got sidetracked. So very, 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 I am thankful for this. This is very great. I'd even say educational tool for those who are getting into black magic and even white magic because if you don't know what you're kind of fighting over and stuff, then then you're not the real one i said it there you go because most of the cases at some point of your career or something you will meet up with with the evil with the devil and if you have no idea how do they function and what is it it's kind of like then what was the whole point of getting into this so i do feel like this is very great educational stuff and um very good for black witches too and in general the whole work done amazingly so that is it i really do guys hope you had a good time watching this if there's something that i miss said or anything please forgive me if you uh need to contact me because there is some kind of issue going on you need to find out you, you need a tarot reading or something i do have my snapchat listed in the descriptions so please go check it out please don't hesitate text me i usually do my readings for free unless there's tarot cards that i really want and then i need the money for it uh, then i ask for tips but usually it's all free and um it all says confidential too just saying and 
So yeah, guys, I hope you're staying safe. You know, it's kind of a difficult time. Also, it's summer, so drink plenty of water. And I'll see you soon. Bye.